Uh, so guys, uh, welcome to this tutorial. Um, and today um, I'm going to look at the um, uh, Unlay Agent 4.5. And the, the reason why I did this way is because I got some messages people who they want me to start also doing the uh, teaching or tutorial about the Unlay Agent. And this is this video is purposely for your first day when you uh, download the Unlil Agent. So what we are going to do is that we are going first of all to come here and I'll show you where you can download Unlil Agent. And uh, you just need to light Unlil Agent. And you you would have this uh, website where Unlil, uh, unlilagent.com. So you can click this website here. And then you have to say that get started. When you say that you want to get started, uh, the Unlil Agent will be installed direct. Then after you install, first of all, you ha you have to install the uh, the installer, and then you need to sign with your uh, like. If I click here, you can sign either with your Facebook or with a Google account, or any of those accounts then um when you are done you have this one here on your desktop this is called the epic game launcher and what you have to do you need to come here on the video uh the uh, library and here you can download the unreal agent 4.5 so it will take like this is allowed uh 11 gb i think downloading so you need to have a um, internet that can be able to download all those and now when you have have this file now you have downloaded the thing that you need to do like this one is asking me to start uh, um, updating again so let me just so uh, I'll just leave that one for that to that to activate so I have the Unreal Agent 4.5 and I have Unreal Agent 4.2.4 uh, and a little agent 2.5 so um this one is the more advanced for uh, a little agent 2.5 is more advanced than than a little agent 2.4 so when it is done then now you can come back so if you have like if i click download it will be shown here when it's downloading if you don't have enough data you can come here and pause and then you can continue so when you're done you can you would have this link here you have this here and you can click here to open it or you can come here and say that you want to start so if you start let's see um it will take on it if you have a good computer and this is what i was saying if you need a little agent need a, a computer with the alarm from at least um 16 GB and um, you also need um, so for uh, you also need um, a computer from Intel uh, 1.7 or uh, AMD laser from 5 and above so it will take some minute if you have below some time it will only load and it go up to that 9 then it will not open again so if it doesn't open again, just know that your computer cannot uh, be able to open the Unlay Agent. Don't wait. I did that one one day and I waited like for two days. It, it did not open. So uh, now I'm waiting for it just to finish opening. Then I can show you. Uh, this take doesn't take long. Then you have this page here. So what you do yeah three option either you can uh four option either you can use it to make games you can use it to make films um and you or you can use it for architecture and engineer purposes or automotive for me i currently use it for my film and television and sometimes for games so i can start by showing how you you open for games so you come here and click and then you say next and you can decide to take one of this one. You can take the first person who only appear camera. And the thing that I saw like, so let me take the third person. That person means you have the character already on your uh, game. So I just need to say next. 
then I don't have to do anything on those one. I just leave them like that way. Then I came here and I say uh, my uh, my first game game. Then you have to like all those one that they are connected. Then you need to click create. So this one will not take long time if your computer is fast. And let's see. Now uh, it's already done. This is what you get when you open this game. So you have this field here where you can be able like if I click W, if I click this character here, now, if I, I click play like that way, I can be I can move this character side on side. Then I can make him. I'm using W on my keyboard. I can use S to make him come back. I can use D to make him go side to side. I can use A to make them go on the left side. So and then I can use space to make him jump. So. Those are the basic when you open it. So if you need to go, you need to need to click escape, then it will just be separate. So you can use your mouse to rotate side to side. And then you see. So uh, this is just for the game. Um, I will just show you like how to start going deep and how to do it. So now we have seen how you can open. So I just cross it and then I start my Unreal Engine again. Um, the same process waited for it to load and so I have this one and now what we are going to get is that we are, are going to have the uh, uh, let me just wait so now we have look for the game so now if I want to, to start making a, a film or a television or whatever i need to click there i say next if for me when i'm using i usually use blank so i just click there then i'll come here and say my first video for example yeah then i say create and then i just give it minutes like uh 30 seconds and yeah it will ask that one so i just say yes and now it is almost open um <clears throat> So uh, this takes some time because it has to. So now the, when I open, like if I'm doing the uh, the video, I'll get this one when I open the blank. So this is the field where I can do my uh, video editing. So what I do, and this is, if you learn those tricks, you can do so. So if I click D, it will move on the left side. If I click A, it will move on the light side. If I click E, it will go down. If I click Q, it will go up. If I click W, it will come to me. Uh, it will be zoomed. If I click S, it will be zoomed away. So the thing is that if I have this on you, you already have this start, uh, start content here and map. This is what we are seeing here. Um, then you have some basic so we have on your file you can start a new level you can open a project that you have saved you can do all those so the edit side is where you can come here and now you see the plugins you can see all the plugins here if you click edit and then you go to plugins you can update all the plugins so this is what i was showing yesterday like if i want to use icon live link i just need to come here and list that then it will be updated so if i click here list that i'll just it will open again and then i'll say yes 
and then I just give it like um, only a few seconds then it will be uploaded so now like you can see here I have my uh, icon live link there so um, on this small table here is where we have our light like if you want to add light on our project if you want to add anything to do with cinematic um, virtual effect we have media we have volume and we have everything so uh, I, 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 I mostly use this one when i want to add the camera if i like camera you can see that uh, you have this camera here so this one i can show you how i do it so now i have my own project here so on the other side here i'll show you what i can do with it and now here i have my uh and live link so those are the things that are hard to show you so the, the the first thing i do is that before i do anything i come here no I come here add new I say I want to add a new folder and this new folder I call it cinematic and then I come here on the cinematic here you see the cinematic then I click it here and I say add new sequence then uh, it will open for me this uh, uh, this here window here so I can just double click and then when I double click here, then I'll have to, I can say here I want to light master. Then when you save this one, then you say save. And when you save now, you have on your sequence, you have, it will be now be open on your sequence. So if you don't find your sequence there, sometime when you add a new level, it will become this sequence this sequence you can move it is something that you can move it's not out there if you don't find it there it will open like this way on your first program so you can just click here and you drag it there where you want it to have it so then i come back here and now when i go to my cinematic folder i'll find this one the master so what i do here is that i i, I click the light mouse then i come to animation and i say i want to level sequence so this one is what i'll call it shoot zero one then i say now when i come to sequence what i do is that i come to track now we are here is contact where you get everything and here is sequence where you can now do your animation or whatever so i come here and i say that i want to add that way i want to add a short track and now on my short track i can now click here and I add this one short one now you have this one here so what you do you can make like you can not now let me say not updating you can make this one a bit big you can light here like you want to animate like 2000 frames and now you come here still you like the same 2000 frame then you double click so you have this one you can make this one long double by dragging it and now you have your everything here in this here so you can put this one up to the end and now you prolong this one the short one that you now you added up to the end and now you double click this one so this one will be made big it will be up to uh 360. so if you if, so you can light here again 2000 and then you come here up to where this one is and then you click and then you say you want a set edge time there so now you can now do your animation here now we have added now um our sequence and but don't have character where do we get our character so what i do is that i come i close i make that one small then i come to this one epic launcher and i come to light blurry and uh sometime I, I can have it can happen that i have downloaded all my materials here so for example let me take a good example of what i can show you with maybe i take uh, mm -hmm.
I'm looking for something good. I can take this one. So I, I, if I click that way, it will ask me where I want to put this one. So I'll screw it and I say I want to save it on my first video. So then I say yes. And I hope it will not be downloaded. So I, I, I just expect that it will be saved because if it's not downloaded, it will have to download. This one, sh it shows you it's 2GB file. So it will be, have to be downloaded for 2GB. And those things you can, you get them here on the marketplace you can get them for free you can come here and check them for free like here you have free for the month and if you click here you can get all the things that they are free for life so uh like i want to shake so this one will take like yeah i don't know how how long it will going to take but because you are doing this video for the first time let's just give it a uh, so yeah it is not going to take long so it will now be exported on your so then i come here like i need to um have a character i can take one of those and i say on my first stay the same this is where i want to save them so i see my first video so i i click it there and then it will be the same process that this one will be said on my project so um and i apologize i got a message that uh yesterday i did a video and my sound was not good i uh, today i tried to check on it and i hope Today the sound is good. If it's not good, you can just slide me back, and I'll try to check what is wrong because uh, I changed the computer and the, I think the setting the yesterday they were not good. But before I did this video, I I checked the sound and I think uh, it is good. So I want this one now to show so to initialize and you uh, okay. Uh, I I use sometimes German language. That's why you say that my computer has so many things here. They are in German. You can use your computer in English to also be good. So whatever you have sent on this one, then you can come back to your. Um, uh, I want to make this one small so you can come back. A minute, something is happening here. okay you can come back now to your uh, uh a little agent you come here and then you need to go back to find so this is what we have uh exported if i click here the character i go to helos madrock i have this character here I can double click on that i drag it to the uh so it will open for me so i can just close this one and I take this character and I put it there. We can try. So if you see when you are doing animation, it's like you are. Um, character is a bit slow. If I try to put this one up. I cannot air yeah, this one. You can you, I can't be able to view my character dialect. So what I do is that I take this camera. Character camera, I put it there. I come here if now you see this small window this camera will be placed here everything that you put on this one it will always automatically be here so i just right click mouse then i say pilot and now if i zoom back now i can be able to zoom my character good i can bring my character here and now i see my character good so um now we have our character how do we animate this is now where the animation comes. So if I click this one, this will be uh, in yellow. I come back to my sequence. Remember what I did here. If I go back to my master, I came here on track. I added short, and this is what we have here. Then on here on the short, I came and I selected short one. That is what I want to animate. So when you animate here, it will show you that now it is on the master. So you need to double 
click this one and now it will show you short one so this is now where your animation will be done so now i can come here and i say i want to add so this character if it is not here you cannot see it so i'll say track when it is yellow i come here add character add actor to the sequence so i click and meet proof so it will open for me those two tables so those two tables is where now you can come here and say you want to add the animation and i can like take one of those animation which i want to say um like i want to take uh fire fast uh, that one was so small so if it is not there you can drag this one and you put it back to zero sometime uh, when the uh this is so let me just try to put it back to zero so like that then i can come where this animation add this animation add there and now I can come back and I say I want to um, add another, like I want something that will take a long time. Uh, like um, hit, I don't, let's see whether when I loop, so this one will take a long time. So now if you see when we are doing this one, our character is not moving. Why? You need to come back here first of all you come back here this direction here you go to the layout and you choose two pins then you have the two things of this one for this one it will be open like this one so you need to come here on the wireframe and now here on the top then you say you need perspective it will be open like this way now you have those two there on this window here you need to come here to the cinematic and on the cinemat no there's something here um i uh, know on this perspective on another perspective you can click um a cinematic viewpoint so you click like that way now if you play this one here so i want to because there's something like this character so let me play it again so when it is idle this character is not moving if you put this one this one you can make it big now when it is like this one and then i put it like up and i come back here to there now you can see there are so many things here which have been added back here so if i click back here i want to say like let me first of all delete this one you can right click and delete and also this one you can delete it now you come back you click this one to be there on the starting point you come back on your animation and now you i want to push up and now if you play this one here uh this character is not funny so let me just look for because this character downloaded it i've not used it and i think is not performing anything so i can just like take this character here my first video i said it because some some animation when you get them for free they will not be they not fit with the uh your animation so let me set this one Because it downloaded it and I'm not expecting it's going to take long. Um, I'm sorry for the delay, but sometimes we need patience to make good things. Okay, initializing, yeah. Um... so exactly so this 
now it's done now i can come back to my unreal engine i can delete this character there come here and say i want to edit and i want this character to delete no I, that was a problem so edit and then i say delete i say yes i want to delete it so if you're deleted you need also to come and delete everything still here i'll come here and say that i want to delete so i come back to my content now i have export so i go back so that i can see my files good and now i have this character here i hope this one work with because if it doesn't work then now so i can import it there and now we have this character there so then i come back to my sequence this is good that so we are already on short one so i'll have to add this character there and now the same process animation and i can click like this one so let me put it to zero you know the thing is that um i like it is like you also learn like this doesn't happen for night some things you need to do then to, to the return so if i click now you can see my character is moving so i can come here where it adds and i put another animation still like i can come and i look for another animation targeting hope it's long enough yeah so now let me say play this to animation and i see how they will work on each other so this is now it uh, now to make this thing and uh being come animated the way you want to see them i want to now uh, to put this one like this one then i want to rotate a bit so that we can and i want to put this one down so that we can can you know so that we can see our character what she is doing i think the best thing we can see her is by rotating her to the side now we have our character here so let me now play her and now we see come here and pray and now you see your character and then when to come to target should just be on the target mode that's how you go so you can do a combination of so many animation and now you can animate your character so this video for more animation i'll just show you in a separate video so uh this was this video today was your first day with i clone so to make this one is uh fast i want to repeat what we did we went to the unreal agent website we downloaded the epic game we um then i told you that you need to sign with your go account or one of those accounts here then um we came here on the bbd uh, library and we have those one there i call uh only agent 4.25 and only agent uh 4.24 and now we open the only agent 4.24 and now this is what we hand here and now you you have to come and now you start seeing what is there then we clicked here to see what if i call this one we have this one the basic light cinematic virtual media geometry and volume and all things and now we came here we added for our first uh we added this uh this one's uh let me go back this cinematic here so that we can come here to the cinematic and we add a new level and our new level is when you came and double clicked here and then we added master and when we save the master we light clicked and then we went to the animation and our animation we added the level sequence and on the level sequence is um where we added this short one and then now we have our sequencer here and this sequencer is what i told you it will first of all the first time it will be open like this one it will not be there and now you can 
click here and left click the mouse and then you can drag it and put it there so and then we went back to our epic games and we have to come to the market and download those files here you can download what you want and after that then you can you have to still download them if they are free if you buy them and next you need to click what you need to bring it to your project and whatever the name you've saved your project you need to come and click there this project then you say save and it will automatically be updated on your uh, unreal engine so for the animation we came here to the sequence we came to the track we say we want to add short track and on the short track if i come back to the master this is the short track where you have the master then you come here to the plus short you add the short one and then we share the number here frames so that we can have uh, enough space to uh, do our work and still here you need to light the same if you just light here it will not match so you need to light here like 2000 then you come here you light still 2000 on this here this the yellow numbers here and now you can drag all you have and now you can make up to the end of the uh, 2000 or you like click your mouse and then you say set at time and then when you have now your short one up to the end then you can double click your shot and when you have your character already here the character which you get um, like uh, this is what we have also exported from epic games if you double click there then you come to the character and then you come to helos and then you come to this one there you have to see this character here this is what you need to drag and you drop this character there now i come back to the sequence i go to the track and on the track i can add here actor to the sequences so i click after the sequences so now you see now i have to if i make this one small now i have two characters so for animation i just need to come here and i can take one of the animation which i would like to put on my animation so uh, if i pray now you can see my character is doing those animation so that is what i want to stop there for the next video i'm going to continue back if god if guys you have not subscribed and you're watching this video please do subscribe so that you can support me and agent doesn't sponsor me icon doesn't sub sponsor me i'm doing this one just guy to show you how to become a profit in animation and i said if my sound is not good you can just like me so that i can just try to check on the settings and i make you start your animation so the next video that i'm going to do i'm now going to add the background so that now we don't have this uh, empty background here now i can show you how you can add the background and how you can now be able to move your characters on those backgrounds to do your animation so for today's video i'd just like to say have a nice day and thank you for watching my video i hope you learned something bye